And a very good morning to everybody with some very good news. Very good news. After this crazy split between Marvel, Disney, and uh, and Sony, Marvel, Disney, and Sony. Uh, well, Marvel's, Disney's Marvel, that is. Disney owns Marvel. But I say Marvel, Disney. You know what I'm talking about. Same company. Anyways, they had this crazy split over Spider-Man. It seems there has been a reconciliation. We all kind of, you know, were angry about what happened. We were all kind of trying to figure out who to blame and... You know, as fans, I mean, as fans. But it looks like this morning there has been a resolution that has come to this. Spider-Man shocker. Disney, Sony striking a deal for one more movie. And the deal has indeed been struck. Spider-Man's coming back to the MCU for one more movie, which is really all I ask for. It's, it's not so much that I wanted Spider-Man to be in the MCU forever, even though I would like that. It's more so the fact they left us on a cliffhanger at the end of Far From Home that would never have gotten resolved, or at least would have been a very awkward resolution if Sony did it without the uh, MCU character. So it looks like they are indeed coming back for one more movie. July 16th, 2021. We're a couple years away from it, but it is coming. The third MCU Spider-Man movie, hopefully to close the book on this storyline with Mysterio and J. Jonah Jameson and Spider-Man being on the loose or on the run from, you know, the authorities or maybe from other heroes. So this is great, great, great news. Um, the article that I read was from The Hollywood Reporter, but it was all over social media today. Uh, Kevin Feige is producing this movie, so he will be wrapping it up, you know, wrapping it into the Spider-Man storyline um, that we've already seen in the MCU and into the MCU storylines going forward. So this movie is now on the docket for Phase 4. Now, um... The question, of course, is where do we go after that? Well, we can't really talk about that yet because as far as I've seen from all the reports, it's just a one-movie deal. So my guess is they're going to blow off, which means they're going to finish off the storyline with Spider-Man and being on the run, maybe redeem him as a, as a hero in the people's eyes, and then from there figure out a way to kind of cleverly write him out however they're going to do it. Not permanently, but just maybe temporarily. And then after that... We can figure out if Sony and, and Marvel will make another deal or they can re, you know, renegotiate for three more movies. Tom Holland is a really young dude. He could play Spider-Man. He could play Peter Parker for the next 15 years, maybe even more than that. He's a young dude. So the future is bright for Spider-Man and this is great news and I'm very happy to give you my thoughts on it, which is what I just said. Good, happy, they're going to close off that storyline. Cliffhangers that have no ending that have no resolution are annoying, especially with the MCU, which is so good at tying everything up. And that's why I'm happy this is happening. And I'm so glad we're going to get one more Spider-Man movie in the MCU. So, all right, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you happy? Are you, uh, you know, I, I'm guessing most of y'all are happy so we can finally get the damn, you know, more Spider-Man in the MCU. Even if it's just one more movie, I'll take it. It's better than no movie. You see what I'm saying? Even though I would like more Spider-Man. Thank you again. Hope you have a good one, and we'll talk soon.